we go. Um, important thing that most Fuji owners don't know is that the specific pin outs on their camera, meaning the configuration for uh, communication with speed lights, not for manual flash. Um, listen, by the way, that big contact in the center of every hot shoe, it is the same on every camera. Canon, Sony, Nikon, Fuji. Those other pins that surround it, that's where things change. This is why, like for example, the flash cue triggers, they'll work with any camera and any speed light. Not for TTL, obviously, but for manual and auto mode. The specific pin outs on a Fuji system are Canon. So if you want to buy a TTL cable, and this is what Fuji needs to make. Okay, right now this is the X-T2 Fuji has. Now this is not that speed light because it's not due out for a couple more weeks, but it's as big as this. The X-T2 is inappropriate to be sticking that big old speed light on top of that camera. It just is. But that is all Fuji has. And Fuji, same as Nikon and Canon, doesn't have to make it themselves. All they have to do is rebrand some Chinese company. By the way, this is kind of humorous. Canon has their own TTL cable, which is rather expensive. This is an off-brand Velo cable. You can get them in various lengths. You can get a really short one. This is like the six-foot one. You can get one that's way, too, way too long. It's longer than this. This is a Velo cable. It's the OCS-C6. Okay, OCS-C6. I think six was for feet. I think it's six feet long. The off-brand one, this one, is actually better than the Canon factory one. Now, factory doesn't mean anything when it comes to TTL cable because Canon and Nikon and everybody else, they outsource the production of these cables. And what does Fuji not have? They don't have this. Now, you know, if you see some wedding photographers, they'll actually do uh, the bounce card uh, with, uh, with some wedding photography work. They'll have the camera, the speed light sitting in their hot shoe. Good enough, not so good. Every professional photography photographer that has more than five brain cells will tell you, and you'll see people at news conferences and paparazzi shooting with their speed light sitting on their hot shoe. Uh, here's the motto that I've said before in 100 videos. You've got to get your damn speed light off your damn camera. Got to. Every professional photographer will tell you flat out if it comes for flattering illumination. The worst place to have your illumination is right here on the top of your hot shoe pointing at your subject. It is. I don't care if you stick a diffuser on it. I don't care what's a fancy gadget you stick on the front of there. Diffuser makes it a little bit better, but it still sucks. Got to get it off your camera, okay? Camera right here. You get me? You feel me? Nikon, I mean, Fuji currently does not have a cable. Now, People have told me, it's like, well, so what? You know, just buy the off-brand one like you're holding in your hand. No, 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 no. It's a matter of company pride. You see, Nikon is a big company. So is Fuji, so is Canon. Nikon does not tell its customers, well, we have this camera and this speed light, but if you want a TTL cable, we recommend you buying Captain Joe's uh, off-brand cable. You know, they have their own. Do they make it themselves? No, but it says Nikon on it. It's a matter of company pride. Something that Fuji has more of right now than Nikon and Canon does. Fuji, listen the hell up. Love you to death, but you gotta have one of these cables right now. You know, you got to. Now that you have a speed light coming out, where the hell is your TTL cable? You have to have it. You have to. So, um, again, to be noted, if anybody doesn't know, and most people don't know, the pinouts for TTL communication on a Fuji camera are exactly the same as on a Canon. So if you want to make sure that you get the right uh, TTL cable for the upcoming uh, Fuji EFX 500, nobody talks about this in any videos. Hey Fuji guys, why aren't you talking about this? I see the Fuji guys and they've got a fine channel. I'm not dissing the Fuji guys. They're showing the the uh, the yet to be released uh, Fuji speed light sitting on top of the Fuji X-T2. Well isn't that special? You know, I'm not dissing them or their videos, but uh, hey, Fuji guys, mention the fact for the rest of those people that don't know, which is about 99% of them, that if you want off-camera speed light capabilities, you have to get a TTL cable, but Fuji doesn't have one yet. They should have, but they don't, and that is a dumb mistake, Fuji. This is like one of the very, very, very few things that I've said that you're making a stupid mistake on. 
contract some Chinese company to make a TTL cable for you, okay? Even if it's this company, you just put Fuji there. You'd be like, this is the official Fuji TTL cable. Um, Fuji guys, make sure you tell your customers, since the Fuji Speedlight, which is made by Metz, by the way, is coming out here in two weeks, that to get your damn Speedlight off your damn camera, because that's the best light. Okay, speed light on camera, bad light. Speed light over here, awesome, awesome, you know. Yes, 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 yes. On the camera, no, no, no. Canon pin out, okay? So if you go to one of those New York store companies and or you want to look for a TTL cable or you want to get a super, super cheap one off of eBay made by some fly-by-night Chinese company, make sure it is a Canon pin out, okay? So that is the answer to that one. I will be reviewing the uh, new Fuji EFX 500 as soon as I can get my hands on one. I absolutely assure you of that fact, of course. And uh, you're really not limited on the options on Fuji. People keep saying, I'm not buying a Fuji because they have limited options when it comes to speed lights. No, they don't. They're coming out with a speed light now. As far as studio strobes, you know, they don't give a damn what camera you got. You know, you stick a trigger on your camera you use a light meter, you know. You're not limited. I'm not limited on the Fuji. I'm not. I'm not more limited on it than I am on the Nikon. I am on the power packs and the fact that Quantum, I don't think, has a cable ready yet to power that for, like, wedding photography. See, what you do is when you get this Canon cable, what you do is you stick this right here on top of your Fuji. Okay, right here. I think I've already got it locked down accidentally. Excuse me there. You stick it right there, and you lock it in, and that way you can shoot like this. Woo, 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 and then the lighting is awesome. Do you feel me, brother man? Do you feel me? Yes, you need a Canon TTL cable. This one's made by Velo. So anyway, I thought I'd drop that information to you. I hope it was helpful because I keep getting asked that question. You know, I want a TTL cable. What do I use for Fuji? Use a Canon. Thanks for watching. Bye.